We're back now with Dr. Rick Marshall, whose new book arrives in stores tomorrow. It was back in Oslo, doctor, last month that you just startled your colleagues with this theory of yours that takes science in a completely new direction, quantum, quantum paleontology. Quantum paleontology, that's correct. What exactly is that? Well, it's, it's uh, not to say modestly, it's our very future, Matt. It's the only real solution to solving this fossil fuel crisis we're experiencing, and it boils down to two simple words. Renewable biofuels. Close. Time warps. Time warps? Time warps. You're serious about this? I'm deadly serious. Uh, five years, over $50 million on my research. You've spent $50 million <clears throat> of your own money studying time warps? Oh, no, that's adorable. No, uh, taxpayers' money. I don't have $50 million. And now you're asking for more? It's all explained in my book. I know, we, we plugged the book. My other car is a time machine. It's Bantam Books, Amazon. Okay. We are living in a time right now with, with huge cuts in spend, I saw, huge cuts in spending. Right. We're in dire economic straits, and you're spending $50 million on studying time warps. How do you not think that's irresponsible? Well, are you I, smoking? No, I'm making a balloon animal here. But you can't smoke in the studio. Okay, no one told me that. Just, look, you look, can't. Fine. There are huge, huge amounts of trans-dimensional energy out there just waiting for us to throw the switch, energy crisis averted. You are asking people to stake the entire future of industrialized mm -hmm. civilization on what you call parallel dimensions. What about the critics who have a fair question, doctor? They say, mm -hmm. this theory of yours is not science, it is non-science, and some are even more blunt, and they say, it's nonsense. How do you respond to that? My critics. Your critics, and there are a lot of them. Can you be more specific? Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking says this is nonsense. That's his word. Okay, you know what? This interview's over. Why? Oh, because what your producer said, you wouldn't bring that up, all right? It's a fair question. No, it's not. It's a hatchet job. And that was my guest, Dr. Rick Marshall. It was. Arrives in stores tomorrow. You might want to look for it in the I'm out of my freaking mind department. When we come back, trampolines, summer fun, or silent killer. Are you out of your mind? I'm so what are you crazy? Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, I'll conclude with this. Our very future depends on one thing, tachyons. Subatomic particles that move so incredibly fast, they actually travel backwards in time. Ask yourself, what if there was a device that could harness these tachyons? We could open and travel through warps in time and space. What's that? Not in our lifetime, my friends? I've designed such a device. I give to you the Tachyon Amplifier. Genius in a box. Only with this device, you don't travel forwards or backwards. You travel sideways in time to another dimension where past, present, and future all meet. And lights.